In this video I'll show you 5 techniques I use to edit audio in Reaper. I'll summarize it now for you and feel free to skip to whatever chapter you're interested in. First is my go-to which is splitting the item under my mouse cursor with a single key, then deleting by holding command and clicking the bottom of the item like this. The second is a way to quickly ripple delete as you click. This time I'm holding option as I click the bottom of the item. The third is just like the previous two but this time we use razor edits and we hold command to normally delete and we hold option to ripple delete. The fourth I go over a slip editing technique that works only using your mouse and it's super fast. You just have to click to split and then throw another split and drag the bottom of the item to move the item's content and you can do this super fast like this. And lastly we have a smart trim that you can trim the beginning of an item and the end of an item in just one click. Now I'm gonna show you how to set them up. Hi Reaper friends, Alejandro here, hope you're well. This video is gonna be a little advanced, but don't worry, all of the steps and everything is in the description below, so feel free to check that out. Oh, I also wanted to let you know that I release a free ebook with everything you need to optimize your Reaper setup. So if that's something you like, you can grab it for free in the description below. Let's get back to the video now. This is my default way to quickly split and delete items. To me, it just takes less effort and thinking because I can be like, I want to split from here to maybe here. And if I'm happy with that, I just click the bottom of the item while holding command to delete it. To split an item, I set a shortcut to the action called split item under mouse cursor. This one I have it set to T. A single key like that and now whenever I want to split an item I just place my cursor where I want it and just hit T and now to delete items I just simply click the bottom of the item while holding command and this is a mouse modifier to set this up we go to preferences go to mouse modifier and in contents go to media item bottom half and then left click and now where it says command or control on windows, you can double click, select action list and then find remove items, track envelope points like this and select it. And now every time you press command and whatever modifier you selected, it's going to delete the item. And I could do this all day. I very much like being able to quickly delete items just clicking at the bottom like this. And I can even do multiple items. So if I have maybe I have these four items selected, I just press one of them and it's gonna delete all of those. When I'm editing things like dialogue or video, I found myself toggling between normal mode and ripple mode a lot. So I wanted to find a way where I always stay in normal mode and only switch to ripple mode when I need it. For example, if I want to keep the space in between these items, I just normally delete like I showed you in the previous method where I hold command and press the bottom of the item. That's gonna keep the space. But if I want to ripple delete, I just switch my mouse modifier. So instead of command, I hold alt and that's gonna ripple delete. Now, once again, to set that up, you go to mouse modifier, media item button half, left click. And in option, which is the one I have set up, I have this custom action called ripple delete that I just created. And what this custom action is doing is basically entering ripple mode this way, removing the item, and then going back to normal mode. You can pause the video if you want to recreate it or you can also find it in the description below. So yeah, once that's set up, you press OK and now every time you press Option at the bottom of the item, it's gonna ripple delete, which is fantastic in my opinion. For razor editing, I take the same approach where I hold command to normally delete or hold option to ripple delete like this. And these again are mouse modifiers. So we go to preferences and this time we go to contents razor edit area, left click. And then we set command to remove items. And for option, we use the custom ripple delete action that I just showed you in the previous step. And once these two are set up, you can press OK and it should work. Now you can command click to normally delete and option click to ripple delete. Oh, by the way, this works super well for bringing stuff together. Like you want to remove the space in between this. You just do a razor edit and then option click and ripple delete pretty much like that. Razor editing is one of the most powerful tools in Reaper and I believe what makes it so powerful is all the mouse modifiers you can set up and have available and with this addition of quick ripple deleting it's been honestly life-changing. 
Slip editing is my go-to for things like guitars and drums and the way I do it is actually only using my mouse and it's incredibly fast. Let me show you how it works. First, just split the item. We're gonna use this action called Split Selected Items at Edit Cursor with Crossfade. When you run this action, it's gonna split the item and give you a small crossfade on the left. Now, here's a cool thing about Reaper is that you can arm this action to happen every time you click. And here's one quick way to arm it. You're gonna go to one of your toolbars, customize toolbar, and then you're gonna add this action and you can place an icon on it if you want. Press OK. So now we can right click on the action that we just set up and that's gonna arm it. That means that every time we click, it's gonna split with a crossfade on the left like this. And to move the item's content, you can hold ALT and click and drag to the left and right like this. However, I prefer to do all of this with just my mouse. So I go to the mouse modifier, media item bottom half, left drag. And for the default action, I set up move item content, ignoring snap to be the default action. So that means I can just click, click, click and just move the item content by dragging the bottom of the item like this. By the way, these crossfades are super easy to adjust in Reaper. You can hold shift and drag to move the crossfade around. And to increase the size of it, you can hold control or command on Mac to increase it like this. So the full workflow looks like this. You just have to click to split and then throw another split and drag the bottom of the item to move the item's content. And you can do this super fast like this. Here's a set of scripts called Smart Trim. I use this for whenever I wanna trim the star or the end of the item. And also to extend it, you can also do that as well. I have this map to single key shortcuts and it works so well. And one thing I love about this script is that I can place an edit cursor here and run the action to extend the item and it will align it to the grid. So if I put this over here and extend it with my mouse cursor close to the grid, it will snap to the grid. But if I don't have it close to the edit cursor, it will do it normally like that. It will only snap if it's close to the edit cursor. So I thought that was pretty cool. By the way, this script is available via Repack and you can check the description and I'll show you how to get it. I wanted to briefly mention that there's also some automated ways you can do this. There's a feature called Dynamic Split where you can split items based on the dynamics. I highly recommend checking out this video by my good friend. He went over all of the things you can do with Dynamic Split and it's amazing. Now, you may wonder what's the thought process of deciding whether to use splits or razor editing or maybe dynamic split or all of the other million things available. And I tried to figure this out for a while and the thing about editing audio is that there's millions of situations you can get into and some solutions will work better than the other. For example, sometimes it makes more sense to do a bunch of razor edits but sometimes you want to take it slow and just do a bunch of splits, do it the old fashioned way, do it slow without much thinking and that's also super fine. And I guess my advice would be do whatever feels most natural at the moment for you without overthinking it. That's why I always default to the first method where I don't really have to think much. I don't know, it feels very effortless. And at the end, it's all about knowing what tools you have available and making them as comfortable and accessible as possible. And with all the customization you can do in Reaper, I'm sure you can find your own workflows and create it easily. That's it. I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.